Hi, this is Jeff. Uh, we're working on a 2003 Dodge Dakota six-cylinder. We're going to tune it up today. It doesn't run very good. Uh, so we just put in a new coil, which the coil is right here. There's two bolts right here, top and bottom, 10 millimeter. So undo your main spark plug wire, which goes to the distributor cap. Uh, that comes off. One wire down here, which you just push that and that slides right down and then that just clips back up and then you'll hear it click so we've got the new coil on it's ready to go we're replacing spark plugs uh, so I just got one of the new plugs in this is the old plugs they're pretty bad so I like to use two spark plugs the one to take out is is a spark plug socket 5 8 here and it has the rubber piece in there so when I take the spark plug out make sure to not break the porcelain off because if you, do, you you can break the porcelain off so you want to make sure the spark plug down inside is pushed all the way on turn and push because it, it can happen you, you don't push it on all the way and then you snap the porcelain off and then you got pieces to break and then stuff falls in the engine and so on and so forth so to you to pull the spark plugs out I use the rubber just put the spark plug in itself I use another spark plug and I take the rubber out that way when you put the spark plug in and tighten it down you're ready to go and I tighten it down which I'm gonna just show you here real quick so this one has a new plug in it. I'm tightening it down. I snug, get it snug, and then I give her just kind of a, <clears throat> just a couple extra right there. Spark plug socket comes back out. I'll show you the second one here. Always get this little extension. It works awesome. I love it. So I'm gonna put another plug in, the second one. So I'm gonna take my extension off. I'm going to grab another plug and show you how to gap them real quick. So we've got a, we put in the NGK plugs in, brand new, and you're supposed to gap them to 40. So they don't come gapped. So you get this little plate, look at 40, put the spark plug so, uh, up to and get it. Oh good, we're at 40, so you're good. If you have to adjust them, it's got it's got a little dial here. You can kind of bend it, and just so it's snug, when it's, it'll stop at 40. Done. You're good to go. Ready to put the plug in. So now you come back, grab your spark plug socket with no rubber. Grab the end. It's got a little sleeve on here, so you can't miss where this where the the uh, spark plug's got to go. It just falls down in there. So I've got I've got six of these to do. I'm on the second one, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you all of them because I don't want to have this video take forever. We're just replacing spark plugs, so you just get them replaced. Uh, put the caps back on. Here I'll show you in just a second. Here I'm gonna get this cap back on. So we're gonna stop after I get this done. And the next thing will be to uh, get to the cap and rotor. So that's snug. We'll get this tight. And then I'll show you the uh, spark plug. Getting the wire back on, you want to make sure it clicks. So that way you know it's on all the way. Get this snug here. Okay, we got her snug. Now, <clears throat> just a couple, and then you're good. So we get this off here. Get this ratchet off. That'll come out. Good to go. That's two. And then to put the spark plug wire back on, just let it slide on and then you're going to hear it click.
if you heard that click it just kind of clicks back on you know it's back on so I'll get the second one I'm gonna leave the second one off because I gotta pull the third one out so we're gonna take a break here I'm gonna get the other ones taken out put in so just kind of just real quick uh, and then we'll jump into the distributor and cap and rotor next after I take off um, so I took out the air box, which I didn't show you, which is right over here, to kind of make things easier. It's one bolt. Uh, this is pretty simple. The air cleaner, 5 16 here, that unscrews. One 10 millimeter bolt right here. Pull that off, this box comes right out. Pretty simple. Get that out of your way, that way you can work on things in here. So whatever you can do to make the job easier, do it. Uh, so we'll be right back in a few minutes. Thank you very much.